Every time we see a street dog in distress, our hearts pound, and our minds enter into a debate of how we can pull the dog out of his agony and save him from distress. If you find a stray dog, it's important to know how to care for it and help it find its home. Today we will tell you the 10 important guide about rescuing a stray dog. Number 10. Safety First A strange, frightened, and possibly sick or injured animal can behave unpredictably. A sudden move on your part, even opening your car door, can spook them and cause them to bolt, possibly right onto the highway. If the animal looks or acts threatening, or if you feel uneasy about the situation, stay in your car. If possible, restrain the animal. Create a barrier, or use a carrier, leash, piece of cloth, or length of rope to keep the animal in the area. Signal approaching vehicles to slow down if you cannot confine the animal, or divert traffic around them if they appear to be injured and is still on the roadway. Use caution when approaching the animal. Should you succeed in getting close enough to capture them, you stand a good chance of being scratched or bitten. When moving toward the animal, speak calmly to reassure them. Make sure they see you at all times as you approach, and perhaps entice them to come to you by offering a strong-smelling food such as canned tuna or dried liver. The first step is to assess the situation. If it seems unlikely that you can catch the dog, call your local animal control agency for help. If the dog bounds towards you happily and shows no signs of fear, it may be easy to attach a leash and invite her into your car. But often, lost and stray dogs are skittish, even panicked, and can be dangerous to themselves and people. The Seattle-based Missing Pet Partnership, a nonprofit dedicated to reuniting lost companion animals with guardians, warned to never, ever call out to a nervous stray, as dogs in a panic are likely to run away at the sound of your voice. If the dog seems wary, remain calm, move slowly, and try to attract her to you non-verbally with passive body language and food. Number 9. Hydrate and Deworm this step is the most important as dehydration could easily be fatal and slows down all other functions of an animal's body. So be sure that you keep an earthen bowl of water with glucose in the summer months so that you can cross off one worry from your list. Worms in an animal's stomach is the first step to gastrointestinal issues and is a prerequisite to vaccination. Before you give the dog a dewormer, contact your vet to clearly understand the kind of dosage the dog would need. Usually, the rule of thumb is one milliliter per kilogram of body weight so make sure you don't overdose or underdose. Try giving the tablet slash liquid with something super delicious to avoid the fuss. Make sure this is done regularly, at the age of 2 weeks, 4 weeks, 6 weeks, 8 weeks, 10 weeks, until they are 12 weeks old, each month until they are 6 months of age, after which every 3 months regularly. Number 8. Vaccinate and Sterilize A world full of animal lovers would sigh at this point because they can't stress enough how important and necessary vaccination is. The most deadly diseases can be easily avoided with simply one shot. Make sure the dog gets a 7-in-1 injection and an anti-rabies shot. Contact a nearby visiting vet, get him or her to vaccinate the dog. Again, keep in mind this must be a yearly regimen. Sterilize. You wonder why? Can't they just live naturally? Yes, all of us wish they could. But given the kind of anthracites, they have to go through with cruelty, lack of food, lack of open space to hunt, and extreme weather conditions. This decision is a tough but stern call. Sterilizing dogs prevents more puppies who might later be victim to accidents, mostly man-made. Contact your nearest NGO and inquire about their ABC, i.e. animal birth control programs, and assist them with the location and catching of the dog. Number 7. Lure them into your car. If you are certain you can get help from animal control very soon, try to lure the animal into your car with food. Close the door and wait for help. In most cases, it isn't a good idea to attempt to drive somewhere with a strange dog unrestrained in your car, they may become frantic or aggressive. Cats may do the same, as well as lodge themselves under the car seat and it can be dangerous trying to extract them. Number 6. Call for backup. If you're not able to safely restrain the animal, call the local animal control agency. In rural areas, call the police. Do so whether or not the animal is injured and whether or not they are wearing an identification tag. Leave your phone number with the dispatcher and try to get an estimate of how long it may take someone to respond. If possible, stay on the scene to keep an eye on the dog or cat until help arrives. Make sure you report to authorities precisely where the animal is by using road names, mile markers, or landmarks. Number 5. Make every effort to find the owner. Besides notifying the local shelter, you'll want to check lost and found ads in the local newspapers. Try placing an ad in the lost and found section yourself. Another good strategy is to post flyers in the vicinity where the animal was found. A typical ad describes the type of animal, the location where he or she was found, and the coloring and other distinct characteristics of the animal. You want to leave out some crucial characteristics though, so that when someone calls claiming to be the owner, you can verify that the animal really belongs to him or her. This helps guard against turning strays over to bunchers. 
see an explanation of what bunchers are. For example, you could leave out the gender of the animal, or the fact that she has white socks on her front feet, or a really bushy tail. Don't forget to give your phone number, and times you can be reached. Number 4. Check for a tag or microchip. If you found a stray, do the obvious first. Check for a tag. If there is a tag, and the owner's name is on it, call and arrange for a pickup, and you know you've done your good deed for the day. If the tag gives the name of a veterinarian's clinic, call during business hours and get the name and phone number of the owner using the code number on the tag. Then follow up to return the dog or cat. If the animal has no tag, there may still be a way to identify the stray if he or she has been microchipped. A veterinarian can help you find out. If there's no tag or microchip, put a temporary tag on the animal with your name and phone number. You can use a luggage label or even tape the information around the collar with some duct tape. If the dog doesn't have tags or a chip, you have two options. Take the dog to your local public animal shelter or take it home and care for it until you find its people. Number 3. Transport to Safety If you are able to transport the animal, take them to the nearest animal shelter. If you plan to keep the animal in the event no owner is found, notify Animal Control that you have the animal or that you have taken them to a veterinary hospital for treatment. You can usually place a free, found ad in your local newspaper or on sites like Craigslist. Keep any identification such as collars or tags. Number 2. If you decide to take the animal home If you decide to try and find the owner yourself, be sure to contact your local animal shelter or animal control office first. This will give you an opportunity to let the appropriate agency know that you have the animal and to provide a description to them, in case the owner contacts them. Also, have the animal scanned for a microchip. This quick ID check could help you find the owner right away. Before bringing the animal home, make sure you can keep your resident animals separate. The found animal could be sick, fearful, or aggressive with other animals. Once you have them safely at your home, take pictures and create a found pet flyer to post around the area in which the animal was found. You can also post notices at veterinary hospitals and on websites such as PetFinder.com. If you've tried to find the owner without success, but are unable to keep the animal long term, you can try to rehome the animal yourself. Number 1. Adopting a Stray Adopting a stray dog is a nice fantasy. You find a scrappy puppy on the street, nobody else comes looking for it, and you get a new best friend. As nice as this may sound, the truth is, stray dogs often have someone out there missing them. Imagine how you would feel if your own dog went missing and someone decided to keep her without trying to find you. Before you decide to adopt a stray dog, take every possible step to locate its family. If you've exhausted the possibilities and it seems clear nobody is looking for your fondling, then you may wish to consider adopting her. As the Humane Society explains, laws on adopting found animals vary from state to state and most places have a hold period for strays. If you follow the necessary steps and no owner comes forward, congratulations, that dog is stray no more and you have a great origin story for your new family member. Do let us know in the comments if you've rescued any stray animal. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.